Mudsdale is the type of Pokemon that doesn't really look that interesting at first, but it actually has a lot of potential. Let's start off here with Mudsdale's design. I really didn't like its design at first, but I have warmed up to it just a little bit and it is sort of growing on me, and I definitely wouldn't say it's as good as the starter designs or the designs of Solgaleo and Lunala, but it's certainly not that bad. Mudsdale is a mud horse which definitely fits the ground typing really well, and I also personally think it sort of looks like a dark type, so I was hoping it would be dark and ground, but pure ground is still a great typing. It's classified as a draft horse Pokemon and is 8 feet tall but over 2,000 pounds, which is totally ridiculous. That pretty much means that this Pokemon is going to be really physically bulky and super powerful. Mudsdale can have two different abilities in own tempo and stamina, which is a crazy good ability. Stamina raises your physical defense by one stage every single time you're hit by an attack. So this means that Mudsdale is going to get more and more bulky each time you hit it in battle, but also, and probably more importantly, Mudsdale is going to play a lot of mind games with your opponent. The problem with just attacking Mudsdale mindlessly is that if you do that, its physical defense is going to rise a lot and it is going to get a lot stronger, so you have to be careful when you attack it. This is going to be pretty difficult for players to deal with mentally, and I suspect that Mudsdale is going to result in a lot of overprediction. If it gets Swords Dance or another way to boost its physical attack, and especially if it gets Recovery, this thing is going to be really good. When you combine its ability with good stat boosting moves and potentially good Recovery, it could end up being the ultimate physical side setup Pokemon. To give a couple of interesting facts about Mudsdale, it has a very powerful body and great emotional fortitude to the point where it never cries out and never gets agitated. It can destroy an entire car with just one kick, which not only means that its physical attack is going to be pretty solid, but also means it's probably going to learn a lot of kicking moves. It's said that Mudsdale is so heavy it makes massive holes in the ground, and it's forbidden from running on many of Alola's public roads. With regards to evolution, I think that Mudsdale is either already in its final stage, or it doesn't evolve at all. The main reason why I think that is because for one, it just looks like a final evolution in general, and that's just going off of gut feel, but also it's already really heavy, and I can't really imagine it getting even heavier. Lastly, I think that Mudsdale's final evolution stats are going to look something like this. As I've already said countless times in this video, this Pokemon is super heavy and super powerful, so I'm giving it very high base physical attack and base physical defense of 100 and 110 respectively. I also figured it would have a pretty solid HP stat because of its large body, so I've gone with the base 90 HP stat. Unfortunately, ground types do tend to have very poor special stats, so I've given Mudsdale rather awful base special stats of base 50 special attack and base 60 special defense. Finally, horses tend to be pretty fast, but Mudsdale is way too heavy to have a good base speed stat in my opinion, so I've given it a below average base speed of 70. My final verdict on Mudsdale is that it's going to be very vulnerable to special attacks, but if it gets a decent move pool and has some solid stats, it will be very good. I would even go so far as to say that Stamina is one of the better new abilities that we've seen for Pokemon Sun and Moon, and the reason why I say that is that we've already seen how broken passive stat boosting is in the past with Pokemon like Moody. The difference is that Stamina is a lot more predictable, and that could actually work to Mudsdale's advantage. So at this point, the main things that will determine if Mudsdale is good or not are pretty much its stats and its move pool. Alright folks, well that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Pokemon Sun and Moon content in the future, and also be sure to let me know your own thoughts on Mudsdale down below in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video.